Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find factors and then solve this given fourth degree polynomial. So at first we're going to go ahead and find the factors of this fourth degree polynomial. As you can see, x power 4 is a little bit cumbersome. We want to make it real simple and we're going to be using this trick. So we will be using a substitution method. So how are we going to do it? Let me show you. I'm going to say let u equal to x power 2, x square. Then u square is going to be simply x power 2 and then power 2. So that's going to become x power 4, u square. So far so good. So we got these two substitutions that we're going to make. So let's go back to this uh, expression over here. So x power 4 could be written as u square and plus x square could be written as u and minus 20. Now as you can see this become a lot simpler quadratic expression. Let's go ahead and we find the factors. What are the possible factors? The possible factors are u minus 4 and u plus 5 isn't it so now once we have figured out these one we're going to go ahead and plug it back into its x variables so u was how much at the very first place x square so i'm going to put down x square minus 4 and once again this is going to be how much that is going to be x square plus five now i want you to look at this very first parentheses x square minus four i want you to just write it down somewhere here x square minus four and we're gonna be uh, uh, using this fact the difference of two squares is the product of the difference and the sum for this one x square minus 4 could be written as x square minus 4 could be written as 2 square i can say that x is a and 2 is b then i can just simply put it like this way x minus 2 times x plus 2 so far so good so let's go ahead and plug it back over here so this could be factored out to x minus 2 times x plus 2 and this can't be factored so i can write just simply x square plus 5. thus these are our factors for this given fourth degree polynomial and finally we're going to go ahead and solve this equation we set it equal to zero so in the previous step we already figured out our factors what were those factors x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 5 set it equal to 0 and i want you to split them up so i'm going to put down x minus 2 equal to 0 x plus 2 equal to 0 and finally x square plus 5 equal to 0 that's going to give you one of the solution is going to be x equal to 2 here our solution is going to be x equal to negative 2 here we have to be careful over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this 5 i'm going to subtract 5 from both sides so what's going to happen is this is gone so x square equal to negative 5 now we want to go ahead and uh find we want to get rid of this square isn't it how we can undo square is by taking the square root on both sides so what happens is this square and square root undo each other so we got x equal to whenever you have this minus inside the square root this is gonna you have to be very careful so this is simply is going to become imaginary number which is i so i can write with a positive and negative sign i times square root of five so thus if you split them up so this is going to give you 
x equal to one of the with a positive sign i square root of five one of the solutions with imaginary number the other one is x equal to with a negative sign negative i square root of five another solution with imaginary number thus our solution set is going to be these number that includes imaginary number as well as you can see with the i and if you are simply looking for the real numbers that means we're going to exclude imaginary numbers so our this is going to be a real solution is going to be simply negative two and two thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos